All right, on to 6.1 part two, we'll actually be talking about the area of a sector. Okay, let's just have the arc length though. So first off, the length of S, the length S of the arc intercepted on a circle of radius R by the central angle of measure theta is given by the product of the radius and the radi radian measure of the angle. So S equals R theta. I don't know why they use S for arc length. I, I, I heard it once upon a time, it's just traditional, right? It's like using M for slope. S will always be arc length. Um, sometimes it's speed as well or position, but in this case it's arc length, okay? So S equals R times theta. R is again your radius. Theta is the radian, okay? It's, 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 it's the radian. So it's, it's, just the, it's just the radius times the, times the degrees that you move, okay? So when you use this formula, S equals R theta, it must be in radians, okay? Theta must be in radians. If you use degrees, you will have it wrong, okay? So don't use degrees. Let's go ahead and use it. Okay, a circle has a radius of 25.6, find the arc length, okay? So we're gonna do S equals R, in this case 25.6 theta, which is seven pi over eight. And then we're just gonna just multiply. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, now we have a decimal here, so we can't really make this perfect, so we're just gonna approximate the whole thing. So 25.6 times seven divided by eight times, I'm gonna use the pi button, so I get 70.3, doesn't give us, let's, let's do, what do they do in the book? They do exactly two, let's do two then. 70.37 and we have centimeters, right? Centimeters, okay? Pretty easy if you have it in radians already, right? For part B, it's not in radians, it's in degrees, I'm trying to get you, okay? If you just do 25.6 times that, you'll get it wrong. So we need to first take it times uh, pi over 180, that's to convert to radians. And so we get what? 54 over 180. Um, 0.3, which is 3 tenths. So 3 pi over 10. So we have 25.6 for our uh, radius times 3 pi over 10. Again, let's get that number 25.6 times 3 divided by 10 times pi. So at 24.13. Pretty simple, okay? Not too bad. All right, so example five, latitude says gives the measure of a central angle with the vertex at Earth's center whose initial side goes to the equator and the terminal side goes to a given location. So something like this, the book, book has this picture. Here's the equator, city one and city two, and there's a nice little edge of the Earth here, okay? So it says we have Erie, Pennsylvania, E-R-I-E. That's eerie. Uh, and here's Columbia. Okay, so this first small, uh, small angle is going to be 34. And the big angle here is 42. Okay, and it says the radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometers. Okay, so all we want to do is find this distance. So all you got to do, remember, this is arc length, right? And so if you plug it into the S equals R theta formula, you get how long this little arc is. And so if we want to find this, I'm going to make it green, this green distance right there, we should take the distance for Erie minus the distance for Columbia. Okay. So what we're going to do is our arc length is going to be 6400, that's the radius of this angle, which is 42. Now we have to convert 42. Let's do that on the side here. So 42 times pi over 180. Uh, 42 divided by 180, 0.233, can we reduce that better? Seven pi over 30, I believe it is. I took 42 times, yeah, that's right. So that's that one, minus 6,400, now we have to do 34. Uh, 34 divided by 217, so it would be 17 pi over 90. Okay, so those are our two numbers. We go ahead and just throw them into a calculator, right? So we have 6400 times 7 divided by 30 times pi. I'm um, around a little bit. 4691.45 minus, same thing over here, times 17 divided by 90 times pi. Probably gonna mess up somewhere. How this feels. 
So I get 4691.45 minus 3797.84. I got 893.61. This would be in kilometers. Okay. Which is going to be really close to the proper answer, right? So nothing too crazy there. Just take the two and subtract the arc lengths. Okay. On to page two. So uh, another example, a uh, rope is being wound around a drum uh, with radius 0.327 meters. Okay. I don't know why you do that. Maybe to make a, I don't know if there's rope around drum in general. Okay. How much rope will be around, wound around the drum if it's rotated that much of an angle? So that'll just be the arc length with that angle, right? So all we got to do is S equals R theta. We have the R, that's right there. So we need to convert this, 132.6 times pi over 180. Convert it to radians. So 132.6 times pi divided by 180. Again, we're just decimals here. So our answer is going to be 0.327 times my number here, which is 2.314. So we get 0 0.32, oh, 0 0.327, 0.3, oh man, 0.327. I don't know why I'm failing at pushing the buttons. Times 2.314. I get 0.756. Um, is that what I want? 0.756 meters. Yeah. Except for I can't round. 0.757 meters. Okay, but nothing to it. So that really not much work to that one, right? Find it, make sure it's in radians because the, the formula relies on it being in radians, but past that, pretty easy. Okay, number seven, this is a little trickier. It says two gears are adjusted, so the smaller gear drives the larger one. So this the small one drives the bigger one, right? If the smaller gear rotates through an angle of 150, how many degrees will the larger gear rotate? Okay, so a couple things. First off, if these spin at a different speed, uh, they're going to break, right? That's just say it locked in. So all we got to do is find the arc length of this one that travels, right? It rotates 150 degrees, so how far does it actually travel? And we can use that to find how much this one moves, okay? That's kind of the idea. So first off, uh, we're going to turn 150 into radians. So 150 times pi over 180. Um, so it would be 5 pi over 6. So now we have 5 pi over 6 radians. Okay, so let's use our formula. We have S equals, now the small one is 3.6 times our five pi over six. So 3.6 times five divided by six times pi, I get 9.42. Okay, so that's the arc length rotated by the small one, it's 9.42. Okay, now, all we have to do now, this is the arc length rotated, so we can go 9.42 equals, and now we can do the formula. We're just going to do it backwards. So we have r, which is 5.4 theta. Okay, so that'll tell us how far that theta is. How many radians did this actually rotate when it did this? Because it has to move the exact same arc length, right? It has to move the same amount. So we divide by 5.4. 9.42 divided by 5.4, and we get theta equals 1.74. Convert this back to degrees, so times 180 over pi. Uh, 1.74 times 180 divided by pi. 99.69. Um, um, we'll just make that 100. Okay, rotates 100 degrees. So really not too bad. Um, just a little bit tricky to understand. So again, what we did, converted our initial degree, our initial angle to radians, because the, the formula requires radians. We found the movement of the small one, because how much this thing moves will dictate how much this moves, right? There's not any other movement happening. So we found how much this moves at that, at that angle. It, we found out it moves 9.42, uh, what would that be? Inches, okay. And now, if that moves that many inches, so does this one. And so we use the arc length formula again backwards, where we're looking for theta with the radius and our arc length, and that tells us the degrees that this rotates. Okay. So on to the last one. With arc length, we also have sector area. Okay. 
a sector of a circle, so pizza pizza, sector of a circle is a portion of the interior of a circle that is intercepted by a central angle, aka a piece of pizza, like this. Okay. So the area, fancy A, script A, if you will, uh, is a, a, of a circle of, of radius r, of central angle theta, is given by the following formula. So it's 1 half r squared theta, where theta is in radians, okay? Just like before, theta must be in radians, okay? Again, radians, or else you'll be wrong, okay? So a lot of these are convert to radians, right? Find the area of a sector of a circle having a radius of 15.2 feet and a central angle of 108. So first off, 108 needs to go to radians. So times pi over 180, uh, 108 divided by 180 is 0.6. No, it's not. 108 divided by 180. 0.6, it is 0.6. So what is that, 3 fifths? 3 pi over 5? Um, I'm not sure that's right. It is, cool. Okay. Now, I just do that formula, so my, my area of the sector is 1 half of my radius squared times my theta, and we just throw it in the calculator, 15.2 squared times, times, uh, 3 divided by 10 times 5, so I get 217.75. See if that makes any sense in the example that I had. Uh, yes, it does. And now this is going to be feet. It's an area, so it's squared. Okay, square feet. So really just that formula from above. Nothing crazy there. Okay? Hope this made some sense. Good luck.